Okay, so today I'll be showing you guys how to make particles. So start by right clicking on your track and choose insert empty event. This is what we'll be applying the particles to. Then search for particle emitter, this one, then add the default. Go to the emitter settings. So you can see how there are no particles on the screen at the start. We wanna change that. So go down to pre-run and just max this out. Then you can also see that all of the particles are spawning from one point. We want to make them spawn all over the screen. Go up here to a meter shape and make it box. Then we need to make the box bigger. So go to the scale master and just max this out. Then you can see that all of the particles are just instantly appearing and disappearing. To make it look better, we can go to the particle settings. Then the size evolution. We want to make this a three point curve. And then change the start life to zero, middle life to 100 and end the life to zero. So now all of the particles get smaller when they're about to disappear. And the start size is also zero. Then we can change the particle size because these are a bit too small. I'm gonna make it maybe 50. That's a bit too big. So I'll change it to 25. Then if you wanna change the color of the particles, you can do it here. But if you want to have like multiple colors, you can go here to the color mode, choose gradient random. Then we need to go and change the gradient. So here to color gradient. Then you can disable all of the colors that you aren't going to be using. So I'll just have the color one and two. I'll make the first one white, the second one purple. Then if you want the particles to move a certain direction, maybe to the sides or up or down, you can go to external forces. I want to make them fall down, so I'm going to change the wind Y to 100. The higher the value, the faster, of course. And then if I wanted them to go up instead, I just make this negative. Then if we go down here, you can see the built-in camera. And if you check the box for use depth of field, you can see that the particles that are further away will become blurry. 
and you can also mess around with the focus distance I'll just put it to 10 then you can also adjust the like birth rate and particle speed up here and the lifespan I might lower the particle speed to 10 and the birth rate to 75 and here's the you can change like the particles the particle shape so if you have it on image collection you'll have a, a bunch of different options here but uh, I like the round blurs so I'm gonna keep it at that Yeah, that's most of the settings. I'll also I'll also show you how to make like custom particles. Go here to the project media and add a heart PNG. Then I'll. Uh, I need to go to the pan and crop because the aspect ratio is wrong. And I'll choose match output aspect. We need to increase the size. Then I'll copy over all of the settings we used here. So now, now it's reset, so I have to do it again. Then go to the particles. Then instead, here you need to change it to host image layers. Go down and then for the image layer, choose source. And now you'll have like the image here as particles. If you want to change the color you can't you can't do it here since it's the same color as the image so you need to go here to like HSL and add it then you can change the hue and it will change the color like this But yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching. See ya.